Welcome to a new video on my home automation open hair and all dress series. We are looking at Solve Devices again and I want to show a new trick in the EVLink application which I learned recently and actually this is something that I probably should have included in my Sonoff big A to Z automation video but um, well actually I forgot about that. To be honest it was a user request um, which started making me think because originally I thought this cannot be done but actually it can be done it's, uh, and it can be done quite easily. So the, the subject that we are going to talk about is how to do two-way or three-way switching using box standard son of devices and the evening application. What two-way or three-way switching means that you have one single light but you are controlling that from two different light switches. So think about like a hallway or a stairway where you have um, uh, light switch at both ends and they operate the same light so you, you flick any of the switches and they would either turn the lights on if it was off or it would turn it off if it was on. To make the same functionality in the EVLink application you have to do some scenes and then set up but actually it is quite easy so I can simulate this two-way switching um, in this board using the touch and the left channel of the T1 and the way I've configured it now is the touch and the T1 would always keep their statuses synced. So if I turn one of them on, they would uh, the other one would turn on as well. And if uh, so, then if I touch any of them, they would turn both of them off. So it's it's basically behaving the same way as you would expect uh, expect the same uh, two-way switching uh, with you know normal physical buttons. Because I have a, um, a bulb connected to both of them, you would see. Um, both of these bulbs come on and go off um, at the same time. Well, obviously there is a little bit of delay, but um, you can you can see how it works now. So I can t touch the, uh, turn the lights on by touching one of the uh, the son of touches, and I can turn it off by touching the other one. And equally, I can do it. Here. I can turn the lights on with the T1, and and I can t uh, turn it off with the touch. But of course. If I turn it on with one of the uh, one of the devices, I can also turn it off by pressing the same device. So exactly the same as you would expect. So like you have a hallway or a stairwell, you have a touch um, upstairs and downstairs, or a, like a light switch upstairs, downstairs, or both ends of the of the hallway, and you can use either of them to control the light. And basically, they toggle the state of the light. But doesn't matter which one you press. In such a scenario, you wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have a lamp connected to both of them. So if I just unscrew this one, then you can see uh, the whole thing working again. So I touch one of them, the light comes on. I can touch the other one, the light goes off. I can turn it off with, uh, turn it on again uh, by pressing uh, either of the devices. And even if I press the same one, it turns off. So simple to way switching. So how did I make this happen? Actually, it is rather simple. So you need to go into scenes and you can see the setup here. And the two-way switching is uh, controlled by these four scenes. And what these four scenes do is they keep these two devices in sync. So if, I, um, if one of them turns on, the other one goes on as well. If one of them turns off, the other one goes off as well. So that's basically two scenes and you need to duplicate them because you have two devices. So this uh, two-way one scene says if the touch is on, the T1 channel one also comes on. The second one, if the touch is off, the T1 channel one also goes off. And uh, scene three and four is basically the, the same one for the other device. So if the T1 channel 1 comes on, the touch also comes on. And if the T1 channel 1 goes off, the touch also goes off. Following the same principle, you can do like, a, theoretically, you can do like a, a four-way or a five-way uh, switching as well. You just need more rules. The, uh, the basic operational principle is that all of the devices that you want to control a single light, you just need to keep them in the same state. So use the scenes so if one of them changes states all the others should follow should use the same state or should switch to the same state if you understand this principle you can pretty much understand that it can be applied to as i said two-way three-way four-way 
five eighths, uh, any number of uh, way switching and basically having any number of uh, sort of devices controlling a single device. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.